Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Okay, oh wait, can I talk to this guy? Oh yeah, that guy, he's he's the, the selectee guy you can't do anything with. I remember him from previous playthroughs. And, uh, oh yeah, even is in there, yeah, I forgot. Actually, just before I talk to Garrus, one sec. And we're back. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. <laughs> I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. <laughs> Maybe you should ask her out. <laughs> Fe female Kroger, I mean, that's gotta be... I mean, look at that. That's gotta be a good time, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Open, 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 so open, open. Uh, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact that it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Hmm. Ready for the next mission? Oh, okay. <laughs> Email from Callie Sanders to David Anderson. Um, David, I, you won't get this uh, for a while unless you have uh, unless you find an extranet connection working on Earth. I've made it out to this uh, weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtaking, complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care, for my sake. Uh, let's see. Call from Callie Sanders to Jack. Uh, Jack. Hey, Sanders. Checking up on the kids? How are they, Jack? They'll do good. This going to be long? I got. I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to uh, part with that biotic amp you... And the children were testing on at Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Damn, one of those, uh, 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 one of the L three X ones. You know how much shit I could tear up with what one of those installed. I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And hey, thanks. Email from Pro Professor to to Keisha to Doctor O'Doul. I was uh, calling every supply depot stationed at the cru uh, sorry around the crucible to find enough pure uh, uh, platinum for the crucible's primary uh, trigger inlay. We barely had enough uh, left to coat a coffee maker. Uh, an hour later, a ship pulled up with sixteen tons of platinum, courtesy of the uh, sh shadow broker. Then it flew away to scavenge uh, more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later is saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. <laughs> Prothean Notes, 2186, Entry 3. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy uh, quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it, it could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Yeah, unfortunately. Well, you know, 
you know, the, as the old saying goes, don't meet your heroes. You don't meet your heroes, you'll be sorely disappointed. Okay, advanced biotic implants. This advanced amp is a sophisticated biofeedback system that inter interfaces with a set of armor's uh, micro computers. Oh, okay. Uh, the amp can be set to help streamline the use of biotic skills and combat powers, or increase their damage instead. Okay, so let's see. Recharge speed to power damage. Uh, I'd say speed. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I shall. And in the meantime, let's talk to Eve. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive, <laughs> almost like Kroger. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard, we were just... <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. Uh, he's trustworthy, Rex. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. <laughs> Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian <laughs> doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. What was this? Reassign powers? Been... New. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. Oh, I hope I didn't interrupt that. extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. Yes. Auditory level. <laughs> <laughs> Need to hear yourself think, simulate conversation to promote new ideas, maximize productivity. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. I wanted to thank you for saving my life, Commander. Even if it was to serve your own ambitions. Krogan have always put their ambitions first. I would think you'd respect that. Perhaps. But how well has that arrogance worked for us? I brought you all the way here, and I still don't know your real name. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. Uh, f a female shaman? I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you survive? Or it sounds brutal. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. 
Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Hmm. Malin's experiments. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Uh, was it worth it? Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. Um, I saw what Malin did. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Uh, let's see, uh, female shaman, uh, Rex. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Kogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Uh, will he seek revenge? Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Uh, other clans. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that, you can tell him. <laughs> uh, see, then there's the genophage and mortem souls. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. Ugh. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and a <laughs> Well, it wasn't his ear. <laughs> uh, I think that's all. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Hey, back here. Eh, uh, no. I miss Legion.
Almost here, he's back there. Okay, so then, um, wow, this has been a lot of crew talking. Um, I'm just going to go down. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time for another mission tonight. It is getting late, and I was starting to drift off during some of the longer pieces of dialogue there. Okay. <sighs> uh. Stopping a banshee when she becomes charged by damaging her while she uses her body. Jumps to close in. Wait, stop a banshee when she... Oh, shit. Uh, oh, Diana? Anything to say? Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. Hmm. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's free. Stand down, Yeoman. She's allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, Commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. Hmm. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. <laughs> do we need to talk, Commander? No. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Yeah, it's all good. Um, let's see, is... Okay, so Jobbik is still on this floor. I was still on this floor, and then James. Why are you so interested in my people, Asari? Earthians are always an enigma, a mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. I'm Why cool. did such an enlightened race disappear? Me in combat first. Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here, I wonder what it's like waking up fifty thousand years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian, all were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. This Cerberus. I do not understand why your own kind would oppose you. They will bleed the same as everyone if the Reapers are not stopped. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, okay. So let's see. Um, which is, that's everybody here. And then shuttle bay. And then that'll be it. I was gonna say. And, uh, I don't know, I'm starting to... I'm starting to get tired, so... <laughs> maybe, after I talk to these guys, I'll have to end the session, you know, before it starts getting... Starts getting a little strange and making a make it a sleepy let's play. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Let's see. I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. That Jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. <laughs> so, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Hmm. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Oh, that's it, okay. Alright, um... Uh... Okay, yeah, so I've talked to Eve. Alright, and now it's time to check on the next mission. Or, hmm, I wonder if I'll go to the Citadel first. Might go to the Citadel first, yeah. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.